you have more than one ad network or demand partners. And in this example, let's say you have OpenX and Pubmatic, and you have this ad unit on your site, which is a 300 by 250. How are you going to set up these two ad networks to compete against each other and you get the best paying or the better paying ad network to serve the ad on every single ad request? On this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up different or several ad networks on Google Ad Manager and optimize them so you always get the best paying line item to serve for every single ad request your site is getting. So here's a sample or sample tags from two different ad networks, one from OpenX, one from Pubmatic. We call these creatives in Google Ad Manager, which you upload behind your line item to start serving ads. On your Google Ad Manager account, go to Orders under Delivery and create a new order. I would highly recommend creating one order per ad network so you can run a granular reporting later on. For example, we'll set up OpenX order first. We'll give it a name. For the advertiser, you can go ahead and add new company if it's the first time you're doing this. Select Ad Network. Type in the name of the ad network you're setting up and click on Save. The rest of the fields here are optional. You can go ahead and create your first line item under this order. Select the format you're trying to set up. Give it a name. It should be something descriptive and very important is to add the name of the ad network so it's easier for you when you do your ad quality monitoring or troubleshooting the site. For the line item type, I would highly recommend choosing price priority. This allows you to serve the higher or highest paying line item for every single ad request. But it is important to optimize the CPM rates in your line item settings on a daily basis so you don't inflate or give ad network an unfair advantage, meaning they only win when they deserve it. I will have a separate tutorial on how to optimize price priority line items and calculate the true CPM. Next, target the size as agreed on with the rep or the ad network. So let's say they just wanted to target 300 by 250. Specify the start time and the end time. Set up the limit if applicable. To start with, you can go ahead and start on a daily impression cap. If you'd like to make sure that there is no discrepancy before you go ahead and scale it up. Next for the rate, very important is to put in whatever was agreed on. So let's say they promised to pay 50 cents CPM. Then you go ahead and put 50 cents. Next, target the relevant inventory. Click on Add Units and select the inventory. You can also target Geo device category depending on the scenario or situation as based on your agreement. Next, click on Save. It will initially say inactive because there's no creative yet. Go to the Creatives tab or click Manage Creatives from here. Click New Creative, select the creative type. In this example, I'll use third party. Next, paste the code that was provided to you by the rep or the ad network in here. So in this example, we're going to grab this tag. You can uncheck Save Frame and click on Save. So now you have OpenX targeting this ad unit. And in that example, let's say that ad unit is this 300 by 250 right here. Now the next thing you're going to do is to set up the order for Pubmatic and the corresponding line item or line items. In the same way you did it for OpenX, target the relevant inventory, run it on price priority as well, and set up the rest of your settings depending on the agreement with a representative or the ad network. And then, you will also upload the tag as a creative behind that line item. Now, the beauty with price priority is that the higher the rate, the higher the priority. So for every given ad request, whichever line item 
has a higher CPM rate, it will then serve the ad on the user's end. But you have to check the actual performance you're getting from these ad networks on a daily basis and adjust accordingly to make sure that your line item settings reflect the actual performance so that the ad network can serve the impression only when they deserve it. There's a strategy that we call true CPM optimization, especially for those ad networks running on price priority, like in this situation or this example. And I'm going to discuss that on my next tutorial.